Okay, so now let's install MPC Plugin Chooser. So click on download, go into files, and we want the pre-release version here, 1.3 PRE. So manually download that. All right, so close it out. Let's open up our download folder. Let's open up our download download folder. Take a peekaboo. There it is. Minimize mod organizer. Go into our mod folder. And let's just drag this on over. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's minimize that for now. I'm going to delete the download. Close out that folder. Let's go back into mod organizer and reassign it to uh, mod organizer. So click on the gears. Choose. Actually, we're going to click on a plus sign now. Add it from file. And uh, it's an SSE edit for me. But anyways, we want to go to our mod folder. For me, it's uh, in uh, C drive, root directory. And I called my mod folder Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. Go to MPC 1.3. Click on MPC plugin chooser.exe and open and apply. Okay. All right, the next step for that, we need to install Lexi's uh, MPC chooser settings, JSON, R J A J S O N. I don't know how to pronounce that. When editing the settings.json file, make sure you have double slashes. We will make sure we do that. So let's go and download that. Files, click on files, and now look for. Lexi's MPC chooser settings, JSON. So manual download on that. Very good. Let's open it up. Minimize mod organizer for now. Close out that page and let's see the instructions. Navigate to MPC plugin chooser data and replace the settings JSON with the one we just downloaded. Okay. So go into your mod folder. Open up MPC 1.3. Here's data. And we're, and we're gonna replace this here. So let's open up that zip archive. There it is, settings.json. Drag it over, replace the file, close that out. And now we need to do some manual uh, tweaking of that. So let's double click on settings.json. I'm just gonna say JSON, I don't care. <laughs> and game data path, we just want quotation marks here. So let's delete, uh, starting from I all the way through data, keeping the quotation marks in the comma. And then for MO2 data path, we need to uh, Replace this with uh, whatever it is on your system. For me, it's in my mod folder, so I'm going into my mod folder. Double clicking on mod organizer to get my file path up here. I'm gonna click up here, and that's my file path. I'm right clicking, copying, minimizing that for now. And then I'm gonna highlight it from J all the way to mods. Then paste. Okay, that's what it's for me. And then we gotta make sure we have double brackets. So our slashes, whatever these are called. So just add an extra slash on either one. Oh, this isn't complete. We need to add a slash slash mods. There we go, that's correct. And then asset output. We just want to make sure that uh, mods MPC appearance output. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is copy this. Highlight from J all the way through. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave uh, MPC appearance up to the S and mods here. Pressing control V. And there we go. Lexi's Legacy of the Dragon War Mod Organizer 2. Mods MPC appearance output double slashes all the way. All right. Click save and that's it that's how you install npc uh plugin chooser yeah that's a short and sweet video all right that's a nice uh nice uh all right that was all right that was short but sweet I wanted to uh, dedicate Xlogin and Dindalot to their own videos, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video.